Hello everyone. Namaste. Welcome to VPK Nutrition, Mind Body Healing with Pushpa. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about um, modern nutrition and Ayurveda and what is the difference between the two. Now, I've been a dietitian for over 30 years and I've studied um, in modern nutrition. And when I say modern nutrition, I'm talking about the nutrition that everybody knows, right? The carbohydrates, the proteins, the fat, the calories, and so on and so forth. So that is something everybody is very familiar with. So that is what I have been trained in. And I have been talking to my clients and patients about all of these kinds of things. However, Ayurveda is a little different. It is an ancient wisdom, a medical system from India, originating from India, which brings uh, to us a whole new perspective on how to look at food and nutrition. So I would love to show you a comparison between the two so you understand that both of these systems are wonderful and they have a lot of value if you put them together in a way that is suitable for your body type. And that is gonna be the focus of today's topic, so I will explain a little bit about nutrition and I also give you a little bit idea about what Ayurveda is and some of the principles that it's based on. So you kind of understand how to apply it into your own life for the life that we have now in the modern age. Let's go through uh, why, uh, what is the difference between modern nutrition and Ayurveda? So first let's take the example of why we actually eat, right? So generally, as we look in modern life, we usually eat because we enjoy it. It's usually like social eating or, I mean, we all know food is for nourishment, but we eat it for a lot more things, for body image, for socializing with others. We usually think about food or festivals, celebration, whatever the case may be. However, Ayurveda says that the reason we eat is for nourishment to get in prana so we have enough energy to function throughout the day to go about doing our activities and be completely healthy while doing that right that is number one now the second um, uh, difference between modern nutrition and ayurveda is the nutrient or the elements of food now as we know in modern nutrition i already mentioned this before that we talk about carbohydrates, proteins, fats, and calories, and everybody's familiar with that. And the one question that comes to me every time is that there are so many diets out there. What am I supposed to be eating? You know, everybody wants to know. One, you know, suddenly there is low carbohydrates is good for you. Then it's high, regular carbohydrates is fine. High fat, low fat, high protein, low protein, low calorie. So many different options: the keto diet, the Mediterranean diet. A lot of these diets become fads as well. So again, people are very confused and with the internet generation, obviously everybody is looking for things online and Googling and there are so many people with so many different ideas and most people seem to be lost, not being able to figure out what to do. And that is when they end up coming to me and say, oh my God, I'm so confused, please tell me what I should do. So Ayurveda is different in that it does not talk about carbohydrates, proteins and fats because that is what the body breaks the food into, right? Ayurveda talks mainly about the food itself. Now again, food is something everybody knows. So the belief in Ayurveda is everything in nature is made of the five great elements. And of course, I will be talking in detail about these things. So what are the five great elements? So we have Akasha, which is ether, Vayu, which is air, then you have Agni, which is fire, or Apaha or Jala, which are Sanskrit words for water, and of course, Prithvi, which is earth. So our body, as well as everything in the environment, all beings are made of these five elements. And we are constantly interacting with things outside of ourselves and things that are happening in our body as well. So the elemental composition is what determines the the nature of the food and which is good for you and of course i will be talking a lot more details about these in the following episodes now the third thing when you talk about weight loss which is something everybody is interested everybody feels like oh i could lose a few pounds right that is always the thing that people want to do so when it comes to modern nutrition it is always about counting calories and if you eat less calories than what you really need then you can burn it off and then you lose weight yes it is so true it does happen However, 
it doesn't stay, right? Most people plateau. Why is that? Because a body is a living, breathing entity, entity, and it knows to slow down if you're getting less food to say, oh my God, this body is in famine. I need to adjust myself. So I don't burn all those calories and start slowing down. Then, so after a while, you're not able to lose the weight with the same formula you used at the beginning. Whereas Ayurveda looks at the metabolism. Very important concept in Ayurveda is Agni. Agni is Jataragni. It is sitting in your, it's in the stomach, the, the enzymes and stuff like that. So if you have a good digestive power in the body, then you can pretty much digest anything. But if you have a poor digestion or you've impaired your digestion because of your diet and lifestyle, then naturally to be able to burn the calories is going to be a lot harder to do. So Ayurveda gives so much importance to your capacity to digest something. And that is why every diet or food recommendation has to be based on how well you are digesting. Your particular body is digesting that food. So that is very important. Now, the fourth important um, consideration or the intervention itself is based on nutrition deficiency, lab results, and any kind of diseases somebody has. That's what we focus on in modern nutrition. And of course, that is very important. But again, once you've already reached a disease state, that means you've already created a lot of imbalance in your body. So Ayurveda focuses more on balancing your body. And that is where we have the concept of doshas. And then we have this concept of prakriti or body constitution. So the body is again, like I said before, it's made of the five great elements and the combinations of these elements makes everybody's body a different kind. And that will be the vata, pitta and kapha body types. And of course, there is so much more to come about that. And I'm going to be talking about those things in the next episode. And so today we will end with just the comparison. So what, um, what I'd like you to take from this is that Ayurveda is a very individualized approach. It is not just the food that you eat, but it is also how well you break it down in the body, digest the food, metabolize the food. And again, this applies not just to the food. Food not only affects, impacts your physical body, but it has an impact on your mental body as well. So that is something to take into consideration as well. So this is what I want you to understand the difference. There is value in the modern medicine, especially when there is something acute thing going on in the body. Of course, you need modern medicine to help you out. But with chronic illnesses is what we're all suffering with diabetes and heart disease and uh, cholesterol and overweight obesity. Then naturally you have to go, go on with the step-by-step -step process, understanding your own body and trying to help yourself uh, effectively. And this is where the elements come in and you need to understand your body and I will be talking about the different body types as we go along. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, and join me again next week. We'll talk a lot more about the five elements and also the body types and how you can determine your own body type and also how they relate to the food and our modern times and how Ayurveda is so relevant even today to use for yourself. So have a wonderful day and see you next week.